Hi there and welcome back to Mommy Hates Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make baby back ribs using the Ninja Foodie Grill. Now if you have a multi-cooker be sure to check out the link below in the show notes for that um, video but this one is specifically going to use the grill and the grill function. So the first things that you will need are going to be a rack of baby back ribs and then you're going to need barbecue sauce, barbecue seasoning, and of course that Ninja Foodie Grill. You can use any type of sauce or seasoning that you prefer. And really you can do any size ribs because you can cut them and do multiple batches if you would like as well. But I just did a standard baby back ribs rack. So the first thing you're going to do is take your seasoning and seasoning the, season the ribs and then let it rest for about an hour. So I used Head Country Sweet and Spicy Seasoning. I really like their seasonings and they're local to Oklahoma where I'm from. So I really like um, buying local. And so I've got that nicely seasoned. And then after an hour, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up so that they'll fit in the Ninja Foodie Grill. So I'm just cutting in between the bone there um, into sections. Now I ended up doing this in two batches. So I cut it into five different sections and then I grilled it in two batches. While you're cutting this or just before you start cutting this, you can also go ahead and preheat your grill to the high grill function for 20 minutes. Um, it'll preheat for about five minutes and then you'll be ready to put these in. So I like to go ahead and have that preheating while I'm doing all this. You can also coat it with some cooking spray if you prefer. Um, I like olive oil cooking spray, but if you want a higher smoke point, you can use grapeseed or coconut as well. So whichever one you prefer. So I'm gonna finish up cutting, and sorry my pan, my well-used pan um, is moving on me. But once I get done cutting, I'm gonna add the barbecue sauce. So I'm using Head Country, again, apple habanero, my favorite barbecue sauce. It is so good if you've never tried it, you need to try it. It's not really spicy either. I don't like spicy food, but it gives it enough kick to really give it a good flavor. So I'm just gonna coat the barbecue sauce on each of the little cuts of ribs, and then I'm gonna rub it in with a brush. And now I only do one side right now. Whenever I flip them in the Ninja Foodie Grill, I'll do the other side, but right now I'm just gonna coat the top with the barbecue sauce. And by the time you get done with this step, your grill should be preheated and ready to go. And for us in the Ninja Foodie Grill, it took 20 minutes and they were perfect um, as far as temperature and everything. You do wanna check it. Um, using a meat thermometer is the best way to go. So what you're gonna do is place them in the rib to fit. You can do two batches if you need to. They're gonna cook on high for 20 minutes, but after about 10 to 15 minutes, you can add more sauce and flip them too. The internal temperature needs to be at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit, but really the closer you can get to 200, the better for the tenderness that they'll be. I liked them around 200 to 205, and 20 minutes came out right around 200 to 205 degrees. And we thought that was perfect. Um, they were nice and tender, just like they would be off your grill. So as you can see, I'm putting them into the grill now. And I'm just going to put in three of them right now. Because that's what will fit the best in the grill. And once I get those in there, I'm going to go ahead and cook them for 20 minutes. Now, what you're gonna see here is I'm gonna check on them after about 10 minutes, just to be sure they're grilling up nicely and they already look amazing. So after 10 minutes, I went ahead and put more barbecue sauce on the top and then I turned it and put more on the bottom too and then finished up the cooking time. So you'll see that I have turned it whenever I open this grill back up. And that's where they've been turned. So now I'm pulling them out. The 20 minutes is up. And as you can see, I mean, they look delicious. Don't tell my husband, but this was much easier than doing them on the grill outside. We just got a new pellet grill. And honestly, this was easier. But he still would prefer the pellet grill. But I thought this was easier and they tasted just as good. So as you can see, I'm cutting them up here so that we can eat them. The meat is tender and juicy and delicious and they're full of flavor with the barbecue sauce and seasoning. 
You do want to use a good barbecue sauce and seasoning because that's what's going to flavor these ribs, um, which is why I really like that Head Country Sweet and Spicy and the Apple Habanero. Those are full of flavor, but you can use any that you prefer. So I've got them cut, and we are going to eat these ribs up. If you need the recipe for baby back ribs in the Ninja Foodie using the multi-cooker, you can check it out at the end of this video or down in the show notes below. But this recipe is going to be for baby back ribs in the Ninja Foodie Grill. You can find the complete recipe over on MommyHatesCooking.com. And I hope that you enjoyed learning how to make Ninja Foodie baby back ribs. And you can find this recipe and more all over on my website at mommyhatescooking.com. I have tons of Ninja Foodie recipes. I don't have videos for every recipe, so you're going to find way more recipes on my website than you will here on YouTube for my channel. But I'm slowly but surely getting them up. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe so that you do not miss the next recipe. Thanks so much for joining in today.